Lost 45 by Rick Springfield on this fantasy playlist of August 10th, 1985. State of the heart. Nice Euro dance beat on this record. A thick dance beat just uh, retrofitted into the melody of this record by Rick Springfield. Rick Springfield, uh, I always go back to uh, late 70, actually late summer, fall of 72, Speak to the Sky. His first charted American hit, Rick Springfield, or at least his first top 40 American hit. That went to number 14. And then he was on General Hospital and uh, had his first huge hit with Jesse's Girl in summer of 81. I've done everything for you. And I've, God, that was a rocking record. Remember that? In the fall of 81, Don't Talk to Strangers in 82, Love Somebody in 1984. And uh, he... he 1981 through 1984, Rick Springfield could do no wrong. But by 1985, he was losing some momentum, some commercial momentum. Although he considered this album, Thou, T-A-O, to be his best album. Rick Springfield had stopped listening to American music in 1984. He was getting into more of the synth pop, the synthesizers, the new wave that was emanating from Britain, from, from, from Europe. That influenced the production of Thou. He used a little old drum machine. It was a little a DMX drum machine, and he created the basic dance tracks, the basic dance beats on that drum machine, the DMX drum machine, which in turn led to more drum beats emanating from this DMX drum machine, and the song was built track by track using the drum machine. Rick Springfield psychologically was not in a good place when he made this album. He felt spiritually spiritually lost. His father had died, and it was painful. He was having a hard time dealing with life, dealing with his fame at that particular time. And the lyrics on, the, on this album, Thou, reflected that to some extent. But I gotta tell you something, this song, Stay of the Heart, was not originally done by Rick Springfield. This was an older record. It was covered by Mondo Rock in 1980, an Australian band. It was written by a guy named Eric McCusker. M McCusker. Eric McCusker, he, was, uh, he worked with uh, Warner Chapel, Warner Tra Chapel Publishing Company. He was writing songs for other acts, for other singers, for other, other groups. He wrote the song State of the Heart. And uh, when he joined Mondo Rock in 1980, he submitted the song to the group and they did it. They covered it. It was a ballad. It sounded kind of like an Ambrosia record. Did well in Australia in 1980. Rick Springfield changed it a little bit. He added a vocal bridge on the song. But uh, State of the Heart by Rick Springfield at number 22 on my fancy playlist of August 10th, 1985.